remnant near the capital of the devil. Because the globalists have said their new capital will be, in many of their writings, will be Denver. Yeah. And that's why I don't recommend that area at all. I encourage people to move out of that. West, Western Colorado is fine. The Montrose area is highly recommend, uh, recommended. Uh, but I still like uh, a lot of the communities, for example, where the Mormons are a majority because they're very conservative, even though they're not politically astute. In many regards, they are preparedness-oriented. And best yet, they have an alternative form of government so that if the state government collapses, they look to their bishops and their state presidents, and immediately they knit the government back together and have order. Uh, and they're not exclusive in their ability or willingness to help other people. Become, why, so. are, why are Mormons uh, historically concerned about preparedness? Well, in the first place, because they came from a persecuted people. It's the federal government that drove them out. State governments drove them out of one state after another. And so they went eastward. They, they're the only religion in the United States that actually fought a war with the U.S. government and ground them to a standstill by burning their wagon trains and their supply trains across the plains until they had a negotiated peace. Uh, so deep in the Mormon heritage is a distrust of the federal government, a dislike of the federal government. And although many... Uh, of the Mormons are bending over backwards to try to accommodate government because they want them to be accepted. Still, the basic root philosophy of Mormonism is not one of trust of the world or trust of the government. And that's one of the reasons why they're prepared. Very interesting, because uh, I know I have a lot of Mormon listeners. I know a lot of people that are prepared are Mormons. I've, I've seen that, but then I see a disconnect between average Mormon people who seem to really know what's going on and then the leadership, like Orrin Hatch, Mitt Romney, uh, and, and then people are like, well, that's a Mormon attempt to then infiltrate, you know, and try to change the government from within, but I don't think you're going to change this system. No, oh, I don't either, and I think there's a, a naive feeling that uh, you can take back government by getting it and by compromising with the establishment, making friends with the establishment. I don't agree with that philosophy, and um, many Mormons don't either. All right, continuing in the 20 minutes we've got, I appreciate all this time, uh, Joel. I'm inviting you to town so we can do a larger presentation because this book is so well done. Again, available at Infowars.com. Hope everybody gets it. It's a must read, a treasure trove of easy to access, well researched documentation. Uh, but continue with other areas that are important. One of the most important areas in the book which people really enjoy is where I give. Uh, specific examples of every metro area in the state. In other words, when you go to the state analysis, state by state, I give specific analysis if you're living around New York City or New Jersey or Los Angeles basin.